Welcome back. So, we're going to head out on Lake Erie again today. Uh, it's a beautiful day out. Uh, it's supposed to be close to 80 today. One foot or less waves. So, we're going to have to do some trolling. Now, Angie's on her way over here so that she can go with me. Um, what she doesn't know, though, is I'm going to teach her completely today how to troll for walleye. She's going to set the lines out. She's going to reel in all the fish. She's going to be watching for strikes. I'll just be the net guy, and I'll steer the boat. <laughs> Hopefully I can put her out some fish today because um, I'd really like for her just to learn how to do it. So that way when we get out there on the lake, she's not waiting for me to do it. She can just grab a pole because she's ambitious. She'll grab a pole and get it ready and start dropping. So what we're going to do is we're going to be running some jets. Now, I want to show you different sizes here. This is a 10 jet. This is a 40 jet. And this is a 50 jet. So I don't think I'll have to do the 50s. But I'm going to do a video on what all these holes mean in these jets and how you can change the depth on these on these jets, believe it or not. No matter, this is just a 20, supposed to get you down to, or 40, I'm sorry, supposed to get you down to 40 feet. But if you move your bait here and you move this snap here, you can get deeper than 40 with these. Or you could get shallower. So I'm going to do a video series on that there. Um, what we're going to be running those with are these walleye boards. Now, these are church's walleye boards. I love these things. Uh, it's pretty basic. Piece of plastic, piece of foam on the back. They came with flags attached to them, but I detached the flags because it doesn't matter. I mean, they're orange. I can see them. I don't put them way far out. But what they're designed to do is you put your line right here in this slot, and then this little pin has a spring on the back of it. And your line goes in here. And you just let this relax, and then your line will catch here, and you stick the line from your rod in this little clip right here. Now, this is designed to, to drag your bait out away from the boat. Now, we're going to be using both jets and dipsies, so I want to get these jets out as far away from the boat as I can. Plus, I want to teach Angie how to use this stuff, because fall's coming quick, and the walleye are going to move in so close, we'll be doing some night trolling, we'll even do a casting from shore, but... When we get out there at night, I actually drilled four holes into the top of this walleye board because I take um, little glow sticks, bracelet glow sticks, and I put them in the holes so I can see these out there. So I can still utilize these at night. Now these are great boards, and I'll tell you, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for everything that we're talking about here today. But we're also going to be trolling some dipsies, like I said. And I've talked about dipsies before in my videos. This is a number three dipsy. You can take the ring off to get you shallower. It's all line specific on the depth that you can run with these. The cool thing about using dipsies is you could set this little weight on the back so that it pulls the dipsy one side or the other. So you could actually run a fan of dipsies depending on how many poles you're using. Um, so you could run all dipsies if you wanted. But I want to get her using as much gear as possible, so that way she knows how to set out different things, how to react when different bites happen, what to do and what not to do. So, when she gets here, we're going to head out on Lake Erie. So follow us. Let's catch some walleye. Okay, folks, sorry about that, but the front camera that I had mounted there on the front of my boat that you could see stopped recording just about the time we started recording. So you're going to miss some of the stuff I was trying to do. But I'll add text to it and just tell you the numbers and the sizes of everything that I was using. And, of course, links will be in the description below. So, you need to be able to give me the line. Uh, wait, which one is this? Starboard? No, I need the port side. Yeah, you need to be able to even stand up and move forward a little or sit down up there. Would it be easier for your chair to be up there? No. No? All right, and you have to swing it to me so that I can unhook this if you get a fish, okay? Okay. Oops. Yeah, if you get a fish, you have to be able to swing it to me so that I can take this off. And when we take it off, you'll keep your line tight. Now, set it down in the water. Let line out. Okay, folks. I put 96 feet of line out before we hooked on the walleye board. Now, hold your board. thumb on the spool. And then click that over with the other hand. There you go. Okay. And then just let it out. Should I reset this counter? No, do not reset the counter. It says 95, right? It said 95. 96, yeah. If you let it jump like that, you may get backlash. Oh. Just
just just giving you a little FYI. All right, so I'm gonna try. I'm going to put out a Dipsy and a Jet right now. How much line you got out? One, six. And I stopped. No, that's okay. Hold on. That's good. Lock it over. And then stick it down in that rod holder. So you're going to have to be able to maneuver. Oh <laughs> yeah. There you go. You want this cushion to kneel on? Put the pull, pull the reel down more. Yep. See, it's got to still set just right. No. Go up just a little. Look at the reel. You want the reel sitting just like this. Right behind this thing. Yes. Slide it down a little more. Okay. There you go. Okay, let's try to get some walleye here. Here, fishy. Yeah, that's it. Make the fish call, girl. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> here, fishy, 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 fishy. That's it. It could work. It totally could work. <laughs> Put it about 70 and see what happens and drop it from there. And then when you, re when you reset this, mm -hmm. it just snaps in there. You let it out in the water. Okay, now hit the counter button, put your thumb, you know, straight down. There you go. And then put your thumb on the spool. Put that one over. Yep, and just let it slowly go out from your thumb. You may have to pull that back a little and then, oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Even if you press your thumb up underneath here just to get enough tension. Now with these, you can just put your bail over, hit the button, put your bail over, and then you just let out. Hunter put it on. Whenever it hits 100, you let it out. 100. And kick it over and lock it when you have the end. This is how we're going to have to do it when we get a fish. Okay, so just remember how you're doing it. Okay, now when you just go ahead and let it put it back in the water, and then just immediately let the line out again. There you go. Yeah, yeah, they do. That one's jumping. I know. I was just, yep, there's a fish on there. There's a fish on there. Okay, watch your line counter and see how you're getting close. Be real, real careful so that thing pops out of the water, you know. Right. Oh, you got a fish on there. Huh? You got a walleye on there. No. Uh huh. Nuh huh. Uh huh. Look at that. Yeah. I don't have a fish on there, she says. It wasn't doing anything. <laughs> That's awesome. Not horrible, but it's our first first trolling walleye. <laughs> Boy, these guys are slickery. It's a keeper. Okay, I think there's a fish on there. All right, well, let's see. Only one way to find out. Thing looked like it was moving a little. And it was. 
Yep. And that's how you get it. Getting her some trolling fish. Nice catch. Oh, see it? Yeah. That might be a fish. Oh, yeah. Yep. Did you see That's that? That's a fish. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. I saw it. He's too little. Going, going back. Little guy. Little guy. That's not. That's not the turn. Here, let me hand it to him. Okay, the dipsy pop. There's a fish on there. There's a fish. Hold it up high. As high as you can get it on the phone there. There you go. That's meat too, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's a fish on there. Just when that dipsy comes out of the water, try to keep it in the water as much as possible, even if you're reeling a little slower. And then once you get it out of the water, don't let it go back in the water. Okay. okay, lift it up out of the water, raise your rod tip, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep reeling, that's a good walleye. That's a good walleye. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. There's another one. Nice! Good catch. Good fish. 